right, so let's go more in depth with the explicit form. And the bell's going to ring again, so if you hear the bell, that, that's okay. Just keep, we're going to keep on going. So here, given the explicit formula, we're going to find the first five terms and, and the term that is asked for in this problem, or name this problem. So we're going to find the first five terms, and then we're going to find A39, the 39th term in the sequence. So we're going to find our first term. And again, this is going back to what we talked about before. We said A1, sorry, we said A1 is your first term, A2 is your second term, A3 is third, uh, and then so on and so forth. We need to find the first five terms. So we're going to find A1, A2, a3, A4, and A5. We're going to find all five of those because we have to find the first five. So here, we're going to find A1 here. So if a, we're trying to find A1, what is our N when, it a, when we find A1? Oh, we have A1. What is our N here? Again, if you look at this part right there, they're lined up. So that means for A1, the N is 1. And again, just look at it lining up. If we're trying to find A1, the 1 and the N are in that same spot. So that means that N is going to equal 1. So when we do our problem, we put 1 here in for N, and then we work it out. And that's going to give us what A1 is. Here, if you put that in the calculator, it gives you negative 35. So here, A1 equals negative 35. Right. We're going to do the same thing over and over again. But at a certain point, you should start seeing that pattern form. And at that point, you don't really have to do all this work over and over and over again. Just follow that pattern. So patterns are good. All right, so let's go to A2 now. We have 65 minus 100. And again, if we look at this part, there's n. This number right here is in the same spot as n. So therefore, n is going to equal 2. So we put here, we put a 2 right there. And again, once you find that, put it in the calculator, it gives you a negative 135. A2 is negative 135. We're going to do that for all the way to 5. So A3, again, hopefully you should see that N equals 3 here, because that part, the 3 is in the N spot. 65 minus 100 times 3. And again, if you put that into the calculator, that's negative. 235. We're going to keep doing this over and over again until we get to A5. Oops. A3 equals negative 235. And it's going to equal 4. So that's the calculator. We get negative 335. And as you look at it, what is the pattern that's happening? Because that means we don't have to do the last one because we can follow the pattern. Hopefully everybody can see all we're doing is subtracting 100 from the one before. We just keep subtracting 100. That's all. So if we do A5, following our pattern, we should get that the answer is negative 435. And let's do this really quickly. And then 
If you get negative 4 and 35, can we put that in? Si, senor. It worked out perfectly. So the pattern continues forward. So the pattern's not bad. It's not hard. So we found the first five. Now we need to find the term that they're looking for, that, uh, that name in the problem. And that one, is, that's named, is A39. So as we went through all the other ones, what would your N equal you? Because it's following the same pattern as all the other ones. Exactly, A, the N is 39. So here, that means we're going to do 65 minus 100 times 39. And n is 39, so we want to find it out. When we put that into your calculator, you should get negative 3835. Negative 3835. And that's all that she wrote. That's all she wrote. 